Hello, welcome. You're watching Headset VR. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another gaming video. Now today, as you can see, I'm playing the Invincible. Now this is going to be using UEVR. And the reason I'm playing this is, although I've actually done a video on this not so long back, I think I played the demo and played the game in Reshade, there is now a very workable UEVR profile, which we're going to be checking out. So let's just give the game a go and see what we've got. <sighs> this mission tracks on so much. Okay, right, so before they start chatting again, let's get UEVR going. So if we just inject, and that's it, the game has booted up. So, first of all, let's recent horizon, recent view, set standing origin and standing height. Okay, now if I just close the UEVR menu and come back to the game and pop the headset on. Right, well, this looks pretty darn good. Although, maybe we might want to fiddle about with some of the graphic settings. But before we do that, let's pick up the controllers and let's see if we're able to play the game using controllers. So, first of all, using the right controller, I can turn. Um, Oh, it looks like I can turn the steering wheel as well. So yeah, let's give this a go with controllers. Right, I mean, looking round, it looks absolutely magnificent, this. Wow, look at this. I'm playing with an RX 6600 XT GPU, a Ryzen 9 3900X CPU. I've got 32 gigabytes of RAM, and I'm playing on the Quest 3 headset with a link cable. And, well, this looks absolutely lovely. Although, I'll be honest, I'm at this point I've got no feet in the shadows, but, well, can't have everything, can we? They're approaching their coordinates. Yes, now. Yes? I understand that no matter what I say won't change your mind, but please be careful. First, observe them from a distance. Okay, well, it looks like we're heading for the enemy base, so we'll see what's going on here. But, I mean, look at this. This just looks great, this does. It really does look great. It's an Unreal Engine 5 game. It looks absolutely beautiful. It's a bit of a sci-fi mystery if you've never played it. It's it's worth giving a shot to. Now, I've never... Hey, what was that? The base is in front of me. If you don't stop, I'll do it for you. Okay. We'll most likely lose contact soon. So let me be clear. Your situation is highly precarious. Okay, so let's see what the Alliance have got to say. Now, if you've never played this game or read the book, it's actually set in an alternate future where I believe the uh, Cold War is still going on. If that's all, sir, shouldn't we cut the line? No. Better to continue our communication for as long as possible. Prove okay. that you voluntarily surrendered yourself. The jammers will interrupt us sooner or later anyway. How odd. What? There's no one here. I can't hear anyone either. Where are they all? There's no one here. Right, well this is very mysterious, isn't it? Oh! Force field's down. I should move. Force fills down. I open the passage. We can follow the convoy route now. 
When you're ready, Doctor. Okay, so, uh, yeah, let's follow that convoy then. But this, I must say, is a highly immersive experience. This is really, really amazing. I'm actually fan thinking this is fucking brilliant. I love this. In UEVR, I mean, the only thing we're missing here is a bit of hand tracking. Uh, honestly, this is absolutely excellent. And I must say, hats off to the guy who's made the profile. And, uh, well, yeah, hats off to Prey Dog because he's made games all this pretty much a, a damn near VR experience. If you haven't ever played The Invincible, then this could be as good a reason as any to play it. Now, this is almost pretty much native VR. I mean, it's not native VR. It's by far quite a bit of a way away from native VR. But it just feels so damn good. Like I said, we could just do with the spotter hand tracking. And, well, you know, you could pretty much say we're there, really. Honestly, this is starting to get really, really compelling. It's like, what's happened? What on earth has happened? Well, I've got to the place where they were digging. It's hard to miss. They set up a huge machine at the center. It must weigh hundreds of, no, thousands of tons. The ship that brought all of this must be... Gigantic, yes. Invincible surpasses any of our units, even the largest orbital stations. In my opinion, it's a bit excessive. Let's carry on up here. Now, I am going to be uh, ending the video soon. I'm running out of time. Like I said, I was only planning on doing a short one, but this is just so good in VR. This really has to be one of the best ones I've played in UEVR since, oh, well, I don't know, since maybe Mech Warrior. Mech Warrior was great in VR, but this seems a little bit better because it's pretty much straight out of the box with the UEVR profile. And that's it. Right, so, like I said, I'm going to end the video shortly. I've already covered most of the convoy route. I'm entering a more enclosed area. A ravine, to be precise. I see. Can I count on a tactical report? Of course. A simple analysis of the situation won't hurt anyone. Hmm, that's for sure. I'd rather keep going and stop for a pointless reconnaissance. The tactical report is that I'll be at their location in a few minutes. And then I'll Good find answer. out whether they're still there. That's a rather modest tactical report, but I won't insist. Please keep going. Okay, well I'm gonna end this video soon. So I'm just gonna play the last bit in silence. I'm the destination. From now on I'll be on foot. Okay. Good. It's better to approach with caution. Actually, I don't have a choice. The road is blocked. Seems like a sidewall collapse. How typical of the Alliance. Uh. To destroy everything that's in the way. Okay, so I'm going to end this video shortly and play a little bit of the last few minutes in silence. So if you've liked what you've seen so far, then please like the video. I would highly recommend playing this game in UEVR. This is extremely immer immersive. Radiation level is rising rapidly. Extremely yes, immersive. Of radiation, of other people. Just watch yourself. Considering the radioactive environment, I assume the probability of finding people here is close to zero. One of their vehicles got stuck in the rubble. Oh, oh so you've already reached the convoy? It's only this vehicle so far. I'm looking for the rest. Right, so yeah, um, let's just keep having a bit of a look. So, as I was saying, if you like what you've seen, then please do like the video. And if you want to see a little bit more UEVR content or other 
flat screen games, to reveal our headset, then this is the channel to do that on. So please subscribe, you'll see a lot more of this kind of content with headset VR. So smash that subscribe button, that's what you're gonna get. Now if you've got any comments that you wanna make about this video, please post the and usual place. And uh, I'll respond to every single comment possible. Dead, Unless of course, you work for the Alliance, in I which case, you might go missing. Well, I've had my fair share of anxiety lately. No wonder my brain's in defense mode now. Dissociation is something we all do. Hang on, someone's here. Okay, so what have we got here? Oh no. Astrogator. They're dead. So you found someone. After seeing their base, I had a feeling it might end like this. Still I wonder, what were they looking for? Right. Was it that they killed them? Just what the hell? Okay, right, so there's a dark hole in front of me and there's a giant mechanical monster behind me. So rather than continue on, I'm going to end this video here and I'm going to come back and do some more of this very soon. This is really intriguing and in VR it is absolutely amazing. I mean, the only thing we're missing is hand tracking, it's got everything. What an absolutely fantastic profile this is. And I've got carried away and played a lot longer than what I'll be expected to do. So I've had to have to cram down two hours worth of content, probably into about 10, 15 minutes. So, like I say, please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more VR content. Look out for the next Invincible video in UEVR. If you like the video, obviously do like it and make any comments that you want to make. I'll respond to them all. Other than that, I'll see you for the next one, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.